Hello, Lions. I'm Jordan Nader here with the East Texan Sports Report. I'm sitting here with Lion Head basketball coach, Coach Von, Von Rosenberg. Now, Coach, last year was your first year here. You went 22-9 and and coached the team into the second round of the NCAA tournament. Were you expecting this kind of success your first year? Uh, well, you know, I, I don't think you look at what you're gonna the end result's going to be. Um, I knew we had some good players, and uh, if we could get them to buy in and, and play the right way and play hard, and um, I knew we'd have a chance to be in games. Um, so that was the end result. You know, we went four and one in overtime, so we won some close games. Uh, that's got a lot to do with the players in the locker room, and, and we're just excited to have some of those guys back and add some new ones this year. Great. Uh, and you have some six returners coming back, right? Um, what kind of help does that experience give to your team? Oh, well, it, it can't go understated. Uh, just walking through practice and, and how much time we have to spend on little details that we that we did last year. You know, we're, we're further along as far as implementation. We've got a long ways to go. Um, it's still the fine line of getting those returners caught up uh, to, I'm sorry, getting the new guys caught up to the returners as far as execution and how we want to do things. Okay. Um, so last year... You guys led the Lone Star Conference in steals, and uh, you had 26 of your 31 games, I believe, where you held teams to 40% or less shooting from the field. What kind of work does that take, both as a coach and for the players, to achieve that high-level defense? Well, I think it's a mentality that we don't just talk about. I mean, it's it's how we approach practice every day, and uh, you know that's what we spend the most time on as a defensive end and making sure. You know, we talk about playing team defense, all five guys guarding the ball at one time and uh, just doing our best to make teams score over us. Um, I know that might sound simple, but, you know, making contested shots, uh, keeping yourself in position to rebound. Um, and the longer you make teams play through a possession into the shot clock, uh, the better chance they're going to have to turn it over. And that's really what happened. We weren't out aggressive trapping or anything, but um, we were able to play long enough in a possession that, you know, offense makes a mistake, and we're able to capitalize on it. Uh, so, last year, uh, you guys did great, had an amazing season. What are your expectations for this year? Uh, I think it's, we want to have the same approach. I mean, we obviously are trying to uh, be better. Um, we're trying to do things better on the offensive end, on the defensive end, as a coaching staff, um, trying to be more efficient. Uh, but at the end of the day, we want to get our team prepared to play November 10th. Uh, that's what we're looking forward to. That's what every day of practice is, being prepared to play on November 10th and, and go 1-0 and because, you know, when you talk about NCAA tournament and make the NCAA tournament, the non-conference is so, so important um, just as much, I, you know, as the regular season. we got to take care, take care of non-conference opponents and, uh, and then get ready and hopefully keep getting better, keep getting better every week and every month as we go into Lone Star Conference play and hopefully the postseason. And Coach, you won uh, NCAA Small College Coach of the Year last year uh, in your first year here. What does that mean to you? Uh, it's just exciting. You know, it's uh, I've been a part of uh, TABC, the Texas Association of Basketball Coaches, for a long time. and um, So it's exciting to get recognized. i uh, got a lot of good friends in that organization, and um, I'm appreciative. I know uh, that... No coach gets any honor without um, without really good players that are not only talented but bought into what we're trying to do, and, and that's why I was lucky. You know, those we had some holdovers from uh, the previous staff that uh, you know they bought in. You know, they they didn't have to. You know, a lot of times they don't, but they bought into what we were trying to do, and we were able to find you know eight nine guys that that wanted to do things collectively as a group. And when you do that, uh, good things happen. And you know, that accolade is just as much to our players and our seniors that were here last year as it is to me personally. All right, well, that's it. Thanks, Coach. Um, with Coach Vaughn Rosenberg here, I'm Jordan Nader, and this is the East Texan Sports Report.